Hi everyone, welcome to my Crunchyroll prep vlog. I was prepping for the Crunchyroll convention about two weeks before, and I was so thankful that my stickers arrived in time for the convention. I was actually prepping a lot the last few days as I'm quite a last minute kind of person and everything came like just in time so I was really happy. I ordered 22 designs of 100 stickers each and the only thing is that the stickers are really big. Look at the comparison between my usual sticker and the sticker that the manufacturer gave. I made the wrong measurement so that was on me but it's okay. I also made some special anime merch of my Chupa Doodles characters cosplaying as their favourite anime character and I had a lot of fun with this as I basically just chose my favourite animes. So here is Luffy and Psyche and we also have Anya. I also made badges of the Chupa Doodles characters but the only thing is that it was a little smaller than what I wanted the badge size to be. I felt like this made it difficult for customers to see the actual designs of my badges. I also made clay magnets from air dry clay. I'm still practicing my skills and I'm a little shy about my artwork but overall I think it went well. After painting them, I use gloss to give it a nice shine over it. If I'm not wrong, I sold them at different markets for about one for seven dollars and two for twelve dollars. I'm still not too sure about the pricing, but yeah, I'll see how it goes. I think a few days before the Crunchyroll convention, I made lots of different apparel like tote bags and sweaters. I was really doing my best to make as many products as possible as I was worried that customers would want to buy more of each item. My two best selling designs, I'm a plant lover and tea is my remedy sold out at the Crunchyroll convention so I was really happy with that. After pressing on the design, you have to peel it off and do a second press to make sure all the design is transferred. After that, I packaged everything into cello bags. I think it was like 2am at that point and I was so tired. I was doing my best to package more items. Like over here, I was packaging some badges and clay magnets. The badges were for my anime designs and the clay magnets were the previous ones I showed you all before. I would say that the clay magnets did pretty well at the Crunchyroll convention. I sold out of all the Totoro designs but the badges were not too popular unless they won a lucky draw prize. I also had the idea to make a lucky draw box so that will be more exciting for people when they do not know what to buy and it gives a sense of mystery as well. I was pretty happy with how the lucky draw box went as a lot of people commented about how it was so exciting to get certain prizes. But when a customer didn't win a prize that they wanted, I felt a little bit bad. But there were also many other customers who won good prizes like a notebook, the chupa pouch as well, and keychains. At a later part of the video, I will show y'all how I made my lucky draw box. I'm just going to continue packing my magnets for now. Over here, I'm packing large mystery boxes. So I had three different sizes of mystery boxes at my booth. I had small, medium and ultra size. 
I did about 40 small mystery bags, 20 medium bags, and 5 mystery big boxes. They actually sold pretty well at the convention as people opted for mystery items when they didn't know what to buy. So I was pretty happy with that. This is a really short clip, but I also made a banner for the convention. I used the heat press to press on the design and I had to sew up any loose threads from the back. I felt like my sewing was so bad as I was running out of right thread, so I used like yellow and pink thread as well. But it wasn't too obvious, so I'm okay with it. I also bought wooden display boards which are about 30cm by 30cm in size. I'm gonna put these on the grid panel so that they can be a display for all my stickers, badges and keychains. To be honest, I'm not too sure about using these display boards as I felt like people couldn't really see or touch the item that they wanted. Especially stickers, which people like to pick, feel and choose. This setup also takes me a while to do, so I'm not too sure about it. And I'll keep thinking of how to improve my display. bought a handy wooden step stool from Daiso. It's supposed to be used in the laundry area but I used it to display my mystery items. I was really happy with it as it was only about $6 and it's quite portable and easy to use. Over here, I'm making the lucky draw box and I did this by buying a gift box first from a dollar store. It wasn't a dollar though, it was like $6 I think. I just found a very large circular cute candle in my house which I bought from another small business to make the handhold and I'm cutting it out with a scalpel. It's actually really tricky to cut as the gift box is pretty thick so you have to do it very slowly and gradually. And after about like 20 minutes of cutting, I finally made the handhold. I tested it out to see whether it was big enough, but the edges were looking pretty nasty. So I decided to use some pink coloured paper to cover the edges to make it look a lot nicer and neater. I was cutting it by hand, but then halfway I thought, I can't do this, I'll just use my silhouette cameo to do it. I thought making it look like little teeth would be quite cute but then it was really painful for my hand so I decided on just using a simple rim around the edge. I also did some really cute laminated lottery tickets for people to pick and choose their price. I just need to cut these up and attach the sign and I'm done. Here I am doing the setup on Friday. This was the pre-setup. The actual market started on Saturday and lasted till Sunday evening. I took about 3 hours to set up. In total it was about 5 hours as I took a while to find the area. And tada! This is my booth. I'm so happy with it overall. And I really tried to make use of all the space I was given. We have the lucky dip box and all the display boards over here, the magnets and the notepads and all my sweaters and hoodies and the banner! And this is how my booth looked like on day 2 and we have the lucky dip box over here. I decided to decorate it with some stickers. 
I also ran out of all the big mystery boxes which is why I replaced them with framed art prints. We also sold out of the best-selling sweater and hoodie designs which are the plant lover one and the tea is my remedy one. Yeah, also some clips of how the convention was. all for me and I just want to say thank you for watching and to all of my Ko-Fi Club members. I really appreciate all of y'all.